unfortunately, it's a crisis that has uh, affected every single part of our society. Of course, uh, you know, as a scientist, as a virologist, uh, I tend to look at that. And also, this is a, a new virus. So really, it has taken the, the, the entire world and all its sectors by, by surprise. Uh, we are not that bad, however, uh, as, a, as a society, as a, as a world, because we have uh, managed to do to lots of things in a very short amount of time. Uh, science, of course, is at the forefront, and medicine. And uh, we've learned a lot. Um, from, about this virus and of course then uh, the entire world is actually uh, working uh, in terms of the scientific world of course in medicine to try to get uh, a, a vaccine and possibly a drug as well and this has been made uh, possible by the fact that uh, you know the information regarding the genetic uh, um, sequencing of the virus has been shared very very early on and people can can, can work about it so Four months. This this virus is basically four months old, and uh, the world is different. We are different, and uh, it's a, an ongoing pandemic, and we are all in this together. No, because a, a lockdown is a very nice uh, and quick reaction to to an emergency. It's not a long term solution. And uh, some countries, including my own country, have been, uh, which is Italy, have been in lockdown for quite some time. A lockdown is tough. Lockdown is different in different countries, different flavors, different uh, levels of restrictions. But it doesn't matter. It is tough. And uh, it, it's not sustainable at individual levels. And it's certainly not sustainable at uh, um, country level. And that also not for when it comes to, to the world. I think that because uh, this, this virus is totally new to, to us, and, uh, at the moment, the only people protected are the ones who have had the infection and, and survived. And even with that, in those situations, we don't know how strong the protection is. Uh, and even if now, you know, in excess of three million people around the world have been found to have had the virus, that is seriously a tiny amount of the entire population. Uh, we can underestimate this number of infected people, make it, but still, even if we consider that 10 times that, it means that the vast majority of us is still susceptible to the virus. And this means that uh, if we do go back to uh, decreasing social distancing or, you know, lifting lockdown, we are making ourselves uh, vulnerable. So a second wave is, uh, is certainly virologically, uh, you know, inevitable, if we want to say it this way, because the virus is still with us and we are not yet protected. The vast majority of, of human beings who get infected actually uh, only have mild symptoms. So uh, we need to keep an eye on, uh, on people who are vulnerable, people who actually end up in the, um, having the need for intensive care or for hospitals and making sure that there is a capacity. It will be up to society. It will be up to us, of course, with the with the direction of uh, you know politicians and policy and scientists. But it's up to us as human beings to find a way of adapting. Uh, the reality is that uh, as much as we like to think ourselves that they, you know, they're almost like the only uh, inhabitants of of this this world, uh, viruses outnumber us, and so there will always be viruses around us, and some of them are are particularly nasty or particularly new. So this pandemic is, is likely not to be a one-off. So what we learn now about, about the virus is actually really good uh, um, lessons learned for society in general. I think if everything goes well, very, very well, with one or two vaccines, uh, there might be enough doses in a year to actually have an impact in protecting society. But in, in science, like in life, uh, 
we know that uh, it's nice to hope for the best case scenario, but we also know that we need to be realistic about uh, the best case scenario not materializing. It will be a different world in a, in a, in a year time. And it's uh, as everything when it comes to the future, uh, the future depends on today. So let's, let's keep working on it.